up, guys? We're going blue and May here at the University of Michigan. That's right. We're at the home of the Wolverines. I'm Nicole Aaron. I'm Ferrari St. Paul. Let's storm through this campus. Go! Ah! The University of Michigan is located in vibrant Ann Arbor, Michigan, one of America's classic college towns. The Michigan campus spans over 2,800 acres with over 200 major buildings spread over central, north, medical, and south campuses. So you know your schedule is going to be totally jam-packed with classes and clubs and organizations. And but stuff. a taste of downtown is just a hop, skip, jump away. And Detroit's only 40 minutes. Ooh, let's go in here. Oh, yeah. The University of Michigan's 27,000 undergraduates and almost 16,000 graduate students come from all 50 states and 127 countries. The student population is split down the middle, half men, half women. So we get students from all over. They're all different. We embrace that. Uh, in fact, uh, it's one of the reasons why we're excellent. You know, we value diversity and feel that that's a key uh, component in making sure that we produce excellent students. We have a solid academic reputation, uh, one that... Uh, guarantees that students can come here uh, and major in the courses they want to major in and graduate. They graduate 90% uh, of the students uh, who attend the university and 96% come back after their freshman year, which means that the adjustment, uh, the challenges of first year uh, are somehow satisfied through all the things and opportunities that students have on this campus. Admission into Michigan is highly selective, with the average SAT score of Michigan's current freshman class falling between 2030 to 2250, ACT between 29 to 33, and an average GPA of 3.85. Once you're a graduated Wolverine, you'll be among these famous alumni. Google founder Larry Page, amazing actor James Earl Jones, and football star... Who's my boyfriend? <laughs> Tom Brady. Sorry, Giselle. Michigan undergraduate in-state lower classroom students can expect to pay close to $24,000 a year for tuition, room and board, and books, while in-state upperclassmen pay about $26,000. Those coming from out of state will pay between $51,000 to $54,000, depending on your year. Michigan offers about 250 degree programs, 3,000 courses, and 60 languages on campus. Some student favorites include pre-law, pre-med, engineering, communication, and theater arts. I came here mostly because I always knew I wanted to be an engineer, and when I was looking at engineering schools around the country, I saw that almost every single department at Michigan's engineering school was ranked in the top 10. Most of them were actually in the top five in the country, um, so it seemed like a pretty obvious choice to me. I have taken a great number of classes that I know I'll be able to use in whatever career I choose to go into. And then it has so many resources here. The Career Center is amazing. I have gotten my resume revised through them. Additionally, through my business fraternity, they've helped me write cover letters, prepare for interviews. Michigan's world-class faculty are nationally and internationally ranked scholars and innovative thinkers. Most teach undergraduate students with a student-to-faculty ratio of just 16 to 1. Our faculty even allows students through a program uh, we have at the university called the Undergraduate under, uh, Opportunities Program to actually shadow them as they do research and as they teach. And the most important thing is that we really try to personalize the process with our faculty. And there, there are opportunities for one-on-one, -on -one, daily opportunities for students who meet the faculty on a one-on-one -on -one basis throughout the year, anytime, anywhere almost. This is Michigan Union, a popular hangout for students to go shopping, get a bite to eat, or even study. And Ferrari was here with me a minute ago. Oh, nice. It's so early. And I'm ready to go to the bookstore and stock up on our Michigan gear. All right, let's do let's it. Do it. Michigan Wolverines compete in the Big Ten Conference at the NCAA Division I level with 29 varsity sports. I mean, to be a Michigan Wolverine is obviously the team first, and, uh, you know, we, we bond very well there. It's, a, it's really a family, and uh, we pride ourselves in that, and our tradition there shows it. Michigan Stadium is one of the largest college football-only stadiums in the world seating over 107,000 fans. Uh, I chose Michigan just uh, for, you know, obviously the quarterback tradition there. We had Tom Brady, we had Brian Greasy there, and, uh, you know, a lot of great quarterbacks that came through there, and I felt comfortable with the coaching staff. 
Not only that, Michigan's football team ranks first in the NCAA history in total number of wins. Go Blue! Students at the University of Michigan have their choice of 16 residence halls, with nearly 10,000 students living on campus. With their housing system ranked sixth largest in the U.S., freshman housing is guaranteed. I've been extremely, extremely happy with the on-campus housing system here. I'm a senior and I still live in the residence halls. I think they provide great community activities as well as just a really nice atmosphere to come home to at the end of the day. They're full of amenities like uh, computing sites and dining facilities, laundry. The, one, the residence hall that I live in actually has an art gallery and a dance studio, a photography dark room, a number of things, including a library. It's super easy to get involved on campus. We have over a thousand different student clubs and organizations here. We have the festival that goes on every fall where literally Almost every single one of those organizations will have a table out on the Diag. Students from all around the school come, they wander around, they sign up for email groups. You can join as many clubs as you want that day and weed them out later on. You can be really selective and join them later on by looking on May's pages of website that lists every single club and organization on campus. Well, we've officially gone blue. Hail to the victor! See you later, Ann Arbor!